see a lot of young entrepreneurs uh, chasing the big idea, um, but not really being realistic ab about what it would entail to take on a giant because these massive companies are well resourced. They've got lots of smart people working for them. If the idea was that big, if the problem was that pervasive, clearly some other company would be attacking it, no? So there's a lot to unpack there. One is, um, yeah, the toughest job about being an in venture capital is, is figuring out who is visionary and who's delusional. Um, so <laughs> there's, there's that part. So What's the difference? Uh, well, uh, one, one, one you do really well, IPO, and the other one goes goes down the toilet. The, the You are right there. Uh, you'd be surprised at how, how, I mean, I love the obvious, sort of back to the simple. A lot of times there's big ideas that are just really, really well, everything's obvious in hindsight, but a lot of times people aren't working on it. But we do, you know, we kind of we kind of put companies when we look at them into, into three different areas. Uh, one is entrepreneurs often often confuse. Uh, they'll look at a product from, let's say, Google or, or, or Microsoft and say, oh, this doesn't, you know, Excel doesn't do this. We're going to do that. That's a feature. And you're going to get squashed. Like there is no way Microsoft's going to let you, uh, you know, displace Excel because of a feature. The next one is that is it a product? Is it and, and products are good and they don't have to be huge, but products are something that companies can acquire and and sort of slap into their sales force. Uh, and then the next one is that is it an industry? And that's where you get into sort of the delusional versus visionary. And usually industries happen when there's a big disjoint within the market, um, like technology, where it kind of I always look at big mega trends like the PC or the internet or, or let's say AI now, uh, it kind of resets the table. You know, what big companies once had assets, let's say newspapers back in the internet days. So, you know, their assets, what were their assets? Their assets were, they had the journalists, they had the, the printing presses, they had the distribution network. Internet comes along, all of a sudden those assets become liabilities uh, and nobody likes to write off assets and they won't cannibalize their business. And now what's happened? all the newspaper industry, you, they pay you to take, take them over.